think the starting point for, for, for students that are studying at, at whatever levels is, okay, so what does this mean in my life? I've got a lot to study. I've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, a lot of students at the moment are not going to be seeing sustainability stuff popping up in their syllabus right now. So why would a student look at this video and go, hey, this is something that I should be paying attention to? Why would a student at whatever level care about the concept or the subject of sustainability and sustainability reporting at this point? Yes, I think it's a good place to start. I mean, fun fundamentally, this is the biggest change we've had in the profession in decades um it's it's uh kind of one of these once in a lifetime moments where like the the accounting profession is is mm. you know reflecting on how they need to shift to both take advantage of the opportunity of being involved in this work but also fulfilling our public interest mandate to be um you know part of providing information that users need for decision making and in our modern context with sustainability being so important mm -hmm. um so many of these issues around the environment around social issues and so on are a part of what um users of financial statements and other reports um are, are needing um what's been interesting in the way the global um sort of ecosystem of the profession has been responding to this is that everyone has been seeing as this is something where they need to move at speed. So in the world of standard setting, even though I know to students that it may feel sometimes like the standards are changing all the time, um, typically standard setting is a very long process. It can yeah. take years and years yeah. Um, yeah. to get a, a relatively basic change uh, to go through, whether that's IFRS or the uh, international standards on auditing or mm. whatever it might yeah. be. In this case, all the standard setting boards, um, you know, key ones, global ones have been moving at speed. So the IFRS Foundation established the International Sustainability Standards Board, um, which, you know, which sits now alongside the IASB that sets traditional IFRSs. Um, and they already have two standards that are mm. approved and are going to be effective really soon. Uh, and they're continuing on with their standard setting work. The IAASB that does the audit and assurance standards have just completed their consultation on ISSA 5000 on sustainability assurance, which is a dedicated standard that talks about how you do sustainability assurance engagements, so assuring sustainability disclosures. Um, the IESBA, which is the International Ethics Standards Board for Accountants, which influences uh, the, the 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 codes in in various countries around the world, the ethics code, um, they've got a consultation out right now about how the ethics code needs to change because of sustainability. All of them are doing this as fast as they can, um, and, and just really working at, at at for the standard setting world at breakneck speed. In my role at IFAC, one of my responsibilities is looking at how. Um, our international education standards need mm. to change. So these are mm. standards that set a global baseline um, for accounting qualifications around the world. So, you know, we are looking to revise those standards to make sure that they are adequately addressing sustainability issues. So why do I share all of this? The, the expectation is that education is going to also need to change at speed. In the past, curriculums might have only changed every five or ten years, mm. maybe tweaks here and there. But mm. you know, it also moved at a relative glacial pace. Um, you know, for good reason because mm. it's it's hard to change these things. That is not going to work for this. There is an expectation that the profession um, develop your build capacity and develops competence in this area as fast as possible. Now, for young people coming through the system, you're in the unique position where you may get opportunities to be exposed to this through your university studies right now as it mm. starts to become a part mm. of your curriculum. I can't tell you if that's going to be this year or next year or exactly when it will hit, but it's going to hit. And certainly when you get to the working world, there'll be an expectation that you have an understanding of these issues and on of these standards and frameworks, but also the broader mm. subject matter knowledge for sustainability. So, uh, you know, it's... It's both a, a you know, imperative that you know this, but it's also an opportunity because one of the biggest concerns we've got at RFAC uh, uh, around getting the profession ready for this change is not actually students like the people who are watching this call today, but those who've been in the profession for a number of years, some of them decades, how are they going to go learn um, a whole bunch of new stuff 
um, it's a in a big part. This is a change in mindset, so it's it's mm-hmm. a it's a different way of thinking in mm-hmm. many ways when you work on this type of um, uh, these types of reporting and disclosures and and the implications they have for the business. It it, it really is a different mindset. It's a much more integrated mindset. You need mm-hmm. to have you it, it's working with things that are a lot less certain mm. so generally i know we have estimates in in financial reporting but there's still a relative level of rigor and certainty yeah, that you can yeah, put yeah. to that you know yeah. many accountants pr- you know pride themselves on being accurate well mm. most sustainability disclosures are no we know. really not certain at all like what do you you know so so it, it's it's a it's an area that requires a different way of thinking and and yeah. for a student coming through you actually have the opportunity to come with your perspective on the world but also then you're know, actually going through a learning process where this stuff is built mm. in and mm. you're going to come into the working world um ready with the mindset you need and you may encounter people who have not quite made that shift yet no, and no. you're going to be a big part about driving change so it is mm. it's imperative but it's also an opportunity for for you to really take advantage of this and make sure this is something that you become really good at yeah because that's going to set you up well as you start your career okay 